Today, January 14th, 1952, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are in NBC's World Communications Center in the heart of Radio City, New York. We are in touch with the world. We'll tell you what's happening today. My name is Jack Laskula. And here is Dave Garrow. Well, here we are. And good morning to you. The very first good morning of what I hope and suspect will be a great many good mornings between you and I. Here it is, Jack said, January 14th, 1952, when NBC begins a new program called Today. And if it doesn't sound too revolutionary, I really believe it begins a new kind of television. We'll be with you every day for two hours in the morning, just about the time you get up, 7 to 9 a.m. We're going to try very much to put you more closely in touch with the world we live in by the magnificent, unparalleled means of communication which NBC has assembled into a single room in New York. We call this room our communication center. From it, we'll put you in touch with the whole world and not only with news, which we'll cover as no program ever has been able to cover before, because we didn't have this many tools, but we'll give you lots of music, music of today, what good records are coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow in art, tomorrow in science, tomorrow and today in sports. All fields of human endeavor, we think we'll be able to inform you better about, and the people who are close to you, than you had a chance to be informed before. So that as you leave the house at the end of the day, you're close to it at the beginning of the day, knowing where you're going and what the world is like that you're going into. That sounds like a pretty big job. Believe me, it is. We've been working on this for quite a while. We're glad finally to have made the grade into your home for the first day. We hope we can give you enough to stay with you for a long time. Now, that's a preamble, and you know how preambles are. I mostly talk, and I like to get going and put you in touch today with the world you're going to live in. Our feature will have news, by the way, every quarter hour. You can depend on that. Every half hour, we'll have a two-minute summary, a capsule of the day that you're going to live in. We call it Today and Two Minutes. And here it is for the first time. January 14th, 1952. Here's today's headline. Indochina crisis. Rebels use Russian radar guns. The headline picked from the New York Herald Tribune today as the headline of the day. Here's today's front page story. The story of the inflammable explosive sweaters made from synthetic rayon, which have been exploding in 50 seconds. They've been all impounded now, and the police department is rounding up a few more remaining ones. Here are faces in the news today. This is the famous Princess Margaret, and now announced her engagement tentatively and rumored to the Earl of Dalkeith. His mother is on the left. Here are friends of today. Here's William O. Douglas of the Supreme Court, who has told the president that he is not interested in running for vice president. Now there are places in the news today. First, here is Oak Ridge, birthplace of the atomic bomb. Senator Gordon Dean, atomic chairman, says the big problem for the AEC is to expand atomic energy and still keep our overall economy in the balance. There's Jimmy Demerit, hero of the Bing Crosby Pro Amateur Sports Tournament, cut to 36 holes from 72 because of big heavy rains in the Monterey Peninsula. There is today in capsule form, just about this big, so as you leave the house, you know where you are and what's going to happen to it. That feature will come on this program every half hour. Every quarter hour after and quarter of the hour, we'll have another news broadcast for you. So anytime you tune us in, you'll know, uh, well, you'll know what time it is, like you see, 7.05 in the east here. You'll find the news also running over my feet like this, and you'll find our communication center full at work and about to put you in touch with the day. Let me... Uh, Take a little tour with you if you're not busy for a second and find out some of the tools and some of the people who work on the news as it comes in. This is in no sense a studio. This is really a working news center. The news actually is written and put together here in front of your eyes and will be every morning. Uh, this uh, character here, for example, is Jack Les Cooley, who is a very warm-blooded character. Jack and I are old friends from the Grouch Club days. If you heard that wonderful show of Jack's on the West Coast a few seasons ago. Jack will be my right hand, left hand, and probably middle head much of the time. This is a desk where some of the news is put together and some of the features are assembled by uh, pretty girls like Mary Kelly, who's talking to who you're talking to. I have the weather bureau waiting for you, Dave. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You got your electric typewriter right awakened, too? Mm-hmm. This is a, a fantastic machine. If you can get real close to it, it sounds like a machine gun. Isn't that pretty? 
How fast? Yeah, <laughs> finally beat him. Uh, these are our tape recording machines that put down the voices of people all over the world who may have spoken during the night or who may speak on our early morning program. We'll record them for rebroadcast later. John, I hope you're all lined up there. This is the uh, telephoto machine. Anybody coming in? Yes, we're taking a picture now from San Francisco oh. of the 25th Division. Of what? The 25th Division. Well. Good enough. See, the picture will come in on this machine. We'll show it to you maybe minutes after it was taken. The print we show you will still be wet, but you won't be able to feel it at home, I hope. Uh, let's look up here. Much of meet Buck Prince. Buck is our overseas news editor. Buck, who you got on the circuit this morning? Uh, well, Dave, we got London standing by, and we got Franker standing by. You got please. London there? Well, let me have a can yeah. here. Hello, London. Hello, London. Stand by, London. London, is that Romney Wheeler? Hey, New York. Good morning, Romney. This is the first of the NBC series of today broadcasts. Well, Dave, here in London, we're pleased and proud to be part of this exciting new experiment. Well, sounds like we're both pretty happy. What's the big news story in London this morning, Romney? Well, Dave, before you sign off, I want to give you the latest on those two ships that are breaking up in a storm on the English coast this morning. Go ahead. Well, for a while, I thought we had another Captain Carlson on our hands. The French steamer Hagen weathered ground on the Goodwin Sands last night and broke in two. Dawn, her lifeboat got out to her and took off 37 crewmen, but Captain Maurice Landro wouldn't leave his ship. But just a few minutes before I came on the air here, I got word that the lifeboat has made a second trip to the wreck, and Captain Landro has been brought safely ashore. Good news, Romney, and thank you from London. Uh, Buck, put me under Frankfurt All there, right, will you? Just a minute, Dave. We turn our non-system monitor selector right. to 13. Hello, Ed Hawker in Frankfurt. Yeah, hello, hello. Greetings from Frankfurt, Dave. Hello there. Good to hear your voice, Ed, from the old days you, here. Tell me the big news story in your part of the world this morning. Dave, the, the uh, big news right here in Frankfurt at the moment is the weather. We had our first real snowstorm of the night. First snowstorm of the winter, and it's really chilly over here today. You're not alone. Thank you very much, Ed. They're from Frankfurt in London, and we can take you to any place in the world, or Buck can with his magic wires and overseas transmitters. Uh, it was good for me to talk to Ed Hocker there because we were page boys together here in Radio City about 400 years ago. I want you to meet another friend of mine, Jim Fleming. Jim is our news editor who handles all the news as it comes out of the machine and back. Jim's uh, background for this is pretty dandy. You may have remembered the wonderful war correspondent work that he did. He covered the Cairo and Tehran conferences. And Jim was in Moscow for a long time until, how would you put that? You objected so strongly to the censorship uh, <coughs> they injected me there. <laughs> I didn't want to say yeah. thrown out, but it's Ejected a pleasure and an honor, I guess, to be admitted from there, isn't it? It's a pleasure to be with you, Dave. Good time. Yeah. We'll have Jim with regular quarter-hour reports, 15 minutes after and 15 minutes up every morning. Here are the, uh, the guts of the place. This is where the machines do the news and bring it right into us. Here's the United Press teletype in this corner. And International and AP over here, all the news services feed into here. And let me uh, make a point. See all these newspapers here? This is not a program from New York to you someplace if you don't live in New York. This is a program from America to America so that the guy in one city knows what the people in other cities are feeling and thinking. That's why we fly in the newspapers from most important American cities every day. The airlines do a wonderful job for us. They fly them in and actually the morning papers. Here's the Minneapolis Morning Tribune Monday morning, this very morning. And here it is and a guy who lives in Wilmington, Delaware can see that the big story in Minneapolis is Truman withdrawing Clark's appointment to the Vatican, uh, or a dog leads rescuer to frozen woman, so that the whole country, by means of this show, is more closely put together. We hope to do that. Got some pictures just came off? Yes, we'll leave some of them earlier during the day. Oh, well, we'll show them then a little later in the day. Thought maybe that was a wet one like I just told you about. We, uh, we hope to do all this and not get stuffy about it. We hope to keep you more free, more informed, because I believe, as I hope you do, that an informed people tends to be a free people.